I'm Sherry Corder. I'm Family Ministries Director for the Oregon Conference, among other things. But I've been working with the North Pacific Union on this particular event and working with uh, quite an amazing committee. If you could only have sat in on our... If you think this weekend is going to be interesting, you should have been on, on some of our committee meetings, right, guys? So um, we... We definitely come from uh, unity as far as our statement of beliefs that you s have seen probably on the back of your statement. But um, beyond that, this is a very big, complicated topic. And not everybody on our committee is in lockstep about what will be shared this weekend. So it's a variety of perspectives. When you get a, a couple of pastors combined with a theologian, not that the pa you pastors are theologians too, right? I guess that doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for that. Um, you get, and then a family therapist, and then we have five people who are going to be sharing their personal testimonies, their, their own life journeys with this issue, and you get all of those people together. Actually, they've never been together until this afternoon, so it's really fun to have everybody meeting everybody. Um, they're bound to be different perspectives, which is what we wanted. And it's not like every voice is going to be heard this weekend. For one thing, there isn't time for every voice. But I can promise you, as somebody who's get, who has gotten a lot of phone calls and had a lot of conversations about this topic, every single one of you can thank us for not having every voice because there are some interesting ones out there. So... Um, but you'll hear a variety of perspectives, like I said, from the people who've walked the journey to uh, the pastors, the family therapist. And so I know you're going to be blessed by the people who are going to be presenting this weekend. What we have done in the program, as you will see, is that we've included the little introductions on each of the speakers. So we're not going to take time to introduce everybody because you have that here. One thing that you will notice is that we have tried to cram so much into one event that the schedule is very, very tight. Every single one of the speakers that you're going to hear this weekend could themselves fill the whole weekend. Trust me, I've been on committee with some of these guys. They could take the whole weekend. But uh, we're not going to do that. So we're, uh, you know, we're going to pretty much let the program uh, flow. And I'll jump up here every now and then, but pretty much where it's going to flow and, and you'll see who they are, their pictures, and so forth. So just follow along in your program, and, and that will help you. How many of you were able to go to the Gays in the, we Gays in the Family website already? A number of you? Okay, good. So you know where that is. And we'll continue to put, even though this event is over, we'll continue to put resources and so forth on that website so you can uh, stay in touch with that. There are some things that this event is, and there are some things that it isn't. And it isn't uh, a debate about theology. We already have our theology figured out. It's here. It's not, we're not going to be taking any votes. We're not going to be making any policies this weekend. Our purpose in having this event is so that we can minister. That's our purpose this weekend. I know it's um, a volatile topic, it may be that the only speaker you would ever fully agree with is yourself. And maybe we'll ask you sometime, but for this weekend. Uh, so we just hope that you will uh, listen and learn and, and be blessed by uh, what is going to be shared this weekend. So tonight, our two speakers are Scott Lamert, and uh, he's pastor of the, of the Sunnyside Church. I don't have <laughs> what is, and um, he'll be speaking right after our, our opening prayer, and then following that will be Wayne Blakely. Wayne will be the first of the five who will give their testimonies this weekend, and I'm just excited about the opportunity we have to have that life journey element to what we're doing this weekend, because who can better share than the people who have walked that journey and to help us um, with our understanding. So... Um, as you know, this is an event, even though I'm specifically from the Oregon Conference, this event is being hosted by the North Pacific Union Conference, Family Ministries Department, and the Director of Family Ministries for the North Pacific Union is um, Alfonso McCarthy, uh, affectionately known as Mac. So thank you so much for your support and your encouragement in this, and um, would you please come and pray over our event this weekend? Thank you, Mac. 
Thank you very much, Sherry. Can we all stand for prayer, please? Our Father in heaven, we thank you again for this day, and as we move into the Sabbath, we're conscious even more of your presence and the blessings that awaits us. As we've uh, come together to listen and to share on this very important topic, we know, Lord, that it is beyond us because only you can give us the right understanding and touch our hearts to bring us in harmony with your divine will and also to be able to love our brothers and sisters and to able to minister to individuals that are in need. And so we ask that you will send your Holy Spirit that he might come here and bless us tonight. But most of all, Lord, we just ask that the presence of Jesus will be here, will be seen, will be heard. And at the end of the day, when it's all over, we'll say it was good to be here. We thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. <clears throat> 